Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to Game 2 here in Season 6 in the White Tails Dynasty. So hit that like button, and this game might be one of the toughest games on the entire schedule as we go up against number 8 USC. They have the number 2 pass defense in the nation right now through the first week. Now they are led by junior quarterback Charles Brooks. He can run a little bit, but he is more of a pocket passer, but watch out, he can use his legs. Now they will return second year starter, third year starter Kenneth Starks in his senior season. He is 95 overall, and really, I don't think they've let him loose. His seasons, his seasons look a lot like Jabari Blaze's seasons, not really huge statistically, but doing enough at the running back position. Now on defense, they have a top 10 uh, prospect in the NFL draft in James King. He is a monster, 97 overall. Just looking at this season, he had last season seven and a half sacks, 26 tackles for loss. He was a monster and the rest of this defense is stacked. So we definitely have our work, work cut out in this game. So we are going to the Coliseum on the road and we are going up against the top 10 school and one of the few Pac-12 teams we have faced in this dynasty and we're kicking it deep to Travis Pratt and he will take it to about the 27 yard line. So out comes Brooks on the first play. He's gonna hand it off to Starks and that is a tackle by Victor Dimitri, the first year starter. He is a junior this season and he gets the stop for a loss of three. So second and 13, another play. Dimitri's there, nice stop on the edge. And now we get him to a third and 13. Brooks from the shotgun, drops back. He's gonna throw the ball deep, testing Zane Alexander, and it's almost picked off and we will force the three and out here on the road as we force the punt. And here is Ryan Chang back to receive the punt. He's gonna throw a stiff arm and get to about the 46 yard line and out comes DiRoberto. He threw four touchdowns, no picks in the first game, a near flawless game. So Adam Murphy is uh, in the backfield for the first carry. He gets about a gain of two, and that brings it to a second and eight, a dump off pass to the right side. Bryce Greer is gonna make a move, and he gets upfield for the first down. So now at the 41, this time a handoff to the left side. This time Adam Murphy gonna fight his way forward. Look at him dragging defenders. This is one thing I love about Adam Murphy. A lot of power, he gets a gain of eight. So we keep him in the game this time. Running over a defender and Adam Murphy picks up the first down gain of four. As now we get it under center to about the 29 yard line. This time DiRoberto trying to buy some time. He coughs it up and Jordan scoops it up and he is gonna take it all the way. That is gonna be six for USC, wow. We were driving on that drive and it looked good, but right away, this defensive front shows why they are one of the best uh, pass defenses in the country, and that's a big reason why it's seven nothing. So now we come back on the next drive. DiRoberto starts it off with the incompletion that time intended for Marquise Moore. So now we get it to a third and 10. This time, DiRoberto throws to the sideline. That is Maurice highlights Jackson for 12 yards and a first down. Nice throw on that one. So now he is back in the shotgun. DiRoberto is gonna wind up, throw it deep. He's got the red shirt freshman. That's Trayvon White. Now remember, coming out of last year's recruiting class, we had Trayvon White and Marquise Moore. They both got red shirted. Now they are inserted into the lineup, you can see. We have a lot of talent at receiver, but on the next play, we throw off to the right side, and that is going to be picked off. And wow, that was intended for Maurice Highlights Jackson, but DiRoberto just leads him a little too much upfield, and USC takes over, hit their second turnover of this first quarter. So here is Brooks on the first pass, on the next drive, he's finding Maxi for a gain of seven. Followed up by a third and three this time. Throw on to the right side. J.J. Wyatt has a pick six in his hands, and he drops it. But at least we forced a punt here. So now we have the possession right back. So here's a handoff this time. Adam Murphy on the first play of the following drive. That is in a gain of 11 yards to about the 50, and that's a first down. 
So here's another handoff going right back to him. This time he's cutting back and he's gonna pick up about a gain of three or four yards as he gets tackled. This defensive front is really, really tough. So second and seven this time. Once again, Murphy, he's got four, almost to about the 40 yard line and that brings it to a third and two. Why not? Go right back to a Murphy, another handoff, first down. This time it's a gain of seven. And wow, look at this. He's gonna be shaken up on this play. So Adam Murphy will leave the game and in comes the backup running back, Bam Cameron. So here we are on the first pass on the left side and that is a nice throw, Francis Smith. And that is gonna be a 16 yard gain. Take a look, that was a pinpoint throw, almost picked off again and it's a first down. So now, second and seven, we get it to about the 17, a counter play out to the right side. Bam Cameron's got the quickness, he will get to the edge. It's a touchdown for Bam Cameron. Remember, he kinda took a back seat last season, but now he's back, and he ties it up, 7-7. So here is Brooks back out onto the field. Here's a deep shot on the first play, and that's gonna be overthrown. Nice coverage by Marquise Dorsey. And he made it tough on Brooks that time, and that brings it to a third and 10. They only have three total yards so far. Here's a deep shot on the third down throw, and that's another one. Another trying a tr uh, downfield attempt by Zane Alexander, trying to beat him, but it's tough to beat a guy such skilled as Zane Alexander is, and he picks up the punt on this one. So now here's Francis Smith back on an offense, and look at this move, 22 yards. Francis Smith, he's really skilled. He is 6'5", a lot of speed, and he's gonna have a big year. So in comes Julian Gonzalez, and he gets the counter play to the right side. That's a gain of 12 and a first down. So at about the 32 yard line, this time we keep Gonzalez in the game in another big hole, and this time he's gonna break free. That is a touchdown for the red shirt freshman. Another red shirt freshman. This freshman class was really deep for us. They did not show anything last year because a lot of them are red shirted, but this year, it seems like they're gonna make huge impacts, especially on the offensive end. And now we take the 14 to seven lead. So back out on defense, that time they try to run the ball with Kenneth Starks. And that is gonna be a tackle in the backfield by JJ Wyatt and also big Bobby Mathis. So second and 13, handoff, Starks breaks the tackle down the left sideline. He breaks another one, but steps out of bounds. Wow, good thing he stepped out of bounds. That would have been a huge play but it's a first down at about the 50. It's a bubble screen out to the right side. This time it's a leading receiver, Smith. He gets down the sideline and Craig Smith picks up 22 yards and a first down for his first catch of the game. So first and 10, this time Brooks tries to scramble and he does run over Jonathan Simmons and picks up a first down, 11 yards for the quarterback. Remember I said he can run a little bit. It's a first down. So inside the 15 yard line, here's a throw across the middle. That time it's Craig Smith again, touchdown. USC ties this game up and Brooks bounces back after a poor first quarter. And now here's DiRoberto back out onto the field. So remember he has two turnovers so far in this game. USC knows that they're bringing the pressure and that's a throw away as DiRoberto has been thrown off here in the first half. He's just seven for 15. So now third and nine, this time the pressure is right there, but wide open on the sideline. That is Price Greer. Gain of 13 for the tight end. It's a first down. So we do keep Julian Gonzalez in the game and Bam Cameron at the same time, and that's a handoff. And that's gonna be about a gain of five yards. So now we get into a third and five, the tights formation throw to the right side, and it's gonna be tipped and almost picked off by John Bush intended for Price Greer and it's gonna be a punt. So now USC has a chance to take this lead with three minutes Got left here in the first out. half on the first play, and that's gonna be a sack. That's David Wyatt coming around the edge, and now they get it to a second and 16. We almost had him backed up at the goal line, and that's a big hit by Victor Dimitri. Oh my goodness, and Brooks is gonna think twice before scrambling out again. And now they get into a third and 13. This time Brooks in the pocket, throws to the left side. He's got Craig Smith again for 10 yards. And that's gonna be a punt here for USC. So now we get possession here with under two minutes left. This time we're gonna try to hand it off to Julian Gonzalez. Our run game has is gonna have to be a big part here in season six. I know it because really, if we wanna compete with these big teams, we gotta have some balance. 
as Storm gets the first down. So 40 seconds left here in the first half. This time another pass across the middle. It's Xavier Storm. He gets it to about the 28. And another first down as his clock winds down inside of 30 seconds here as he move into field goal range. We need a little bit more position on the field to get into our kicker's range. Because remember, Wade is our kicker now. Gerard Bryant did graduate. So third and four. Here's a quick throw across the middle. That is the red shirt freshman Marquise Moore. He can play quarterback too. It's a first down. So now we get it to a second and six. Here's a dump off pass to the right side on the wheel. And that is going to be stopped at the one yard line. Bam Cameron can't punch it in. As now we get it to the one. First and goal. Throw to the right side. It's picked off by Bush. And USC's defense shows up again as Bush takes it back to the 44 yard line. The third turnover of the first half. And USC is playing lights out defense, it seems, as Di Roberto just cannot get comfortable. Two interceptions, it's 14 up going into half. So here we go to start the second half. Can we establish this run? Because the pass has been locked up so far in this game. Here is Julian Gonzalez getting the carry. As we found out during halftime that Adam Murphy is going to be out for the rest of the game. So in comes Gonzalez and Bam Cameron. They're going to have to play some big roles. So here is Roberto. This time a jet sweep to Xavier Storm. Almost breaks it to the outside. Man, that was close. That's only a gain of five, though. So now we get it to a second and five. This time, Roberto scrambles out to the right side. He's going to try to buy some time and throw the ball. That's Maurice highlights Jackson, breaks the tackle, and gets pushed out of bounds for a gain of 15 yards. So first and 10 at about the 45-yard line. This time, Roberto throws out to a wide open. Bam, Cameron, he gets tackled from behind, and he will cough it up, but it looks like he was down on that play. So we will retain possession on that one. So now we have it at about the 29-yard line. This time, we're going to give it off to Gonzalez, but that is a hit in the backfield by Demarcus Jones, another great linebacker for this USC defensive front. And now we get it to a second and 15. The pressure's right there, and that's a great play by Will Davis. In the secondary, he could have had a second interception of the game. And now that brings it to a third and 15. This time, Roberto scrambling out to the right side, just trying to get closer in the field goal range. And he is going to pick up nine yards, and we are going to set up for the field goal. And Wade is going to knock it through. And it's a three-point game here as we move into the later parts of the third quarter. So Brooks has been mediocre in this game, not really too impressive. We've done a good job of shutting him down, but here from the shot, gonna start the next yeah, drive. He's gonna try to scramble out, and that's a sack once again. David Wyatt, remember that name. He was a guy that I redshirted last year. It looks like he is in prime position to have a big season getting after the quarterback as they try to throw a screen pass and another drop pick by Victor Dimitri. And here we go on a third and 15. This time, Maxi, another catch, but that's short of the first down marker. We've shut down Brooks in this game. So here is Roberto after a punt, this time handing the ball off to Xavier Storm on a jet sweep. And this defense is just fast. Tim Jordan with the tackle in the backfield. So now we get it to a second and 12. This time, Roberto throws out to the right side, and look at this D. I mean, they are right there. Di Roberto just can't get comfortable as now we get it to a third and 12. Di Roberto throws, and the pressure was right there once again. Wow, USC's defense is just really, really good and maybe one of the best defenses we faced. So here is Starks on the next drive after the punt. This time a big block by 66. He gets down the sideline and brings it to within the 20-yard line. The biggest play of the day for USC. It's a big first down. So first and 10 at about the 17-yard line. This time Starks throws a stiff arm, and he's going to get inside the 10-yard line for a 7-yard carry. And now they come up with five wide out there, four to the right. This time, Brooks tries to scramble out to the right, and he's going to go down. That is Jonathan Simmons. Remember, he got his revenge. He got ran over by Brooks earlier in the game. He gets the sack on that one. So third and nine. This time, Brooks tries to get rid of it, and Bobby Mathis is there. He hits him. Great play by the big defensive end. 
and they do settle for three and tie this game up at 17 apiece. So here is DiRoberto back onto the field. Look at the pressure right there, but he gets rid of it to Price Greer, who fights forward for a gain of 12 as his fourth quarter does start out with a nice first down. So he is 17 for 33 in this game. DiRoberto trying to buy some time. He is going to scramble out and throw the stiff arm, and he's only going to pick up a gain of four. This defense is playing good. They know that DiRoberto doesn't scramble, and they're still not letting him get any yards. So third and six, throw across the middle. It's going to be picked off by Matthews. Wow, another turnover. Three interceptions in this game for DiRoberto. One fumble as well. Four turnovers accounted for. This is just not a good game for our quarterback. So here we are back at our defense. Can we make a stop this time? That's going to be J.J. Wyatt and also uh, Blake Childress on the stop. So this time, Brooks scrambles out to the right side. He can't get away, only picking up a gain of four, and that brings it to a third and seven. Here in a tie game, we need a stop. He's going to try to run the screen pass, gets it out to Starks, and Starks gets down the sideline and gets pushed out of bounds, and he just gets enough, seven yards, and that's a first down. Wow, what a play. So five minutes left here in the fourth quarter. This time, Starks, a draw play. He gets tackled from behind by Cam Duvano and it's another first down. So five minutes left here in the game. This time a carry out to the left side, and that's a nice stop. J.J. Wyatt gets there, and now we get him to an eventual third and five from about the 17. We send the pressure. Anderson Reed comes around the edge. One of those red shirt freshmen I was talking about. He's going to have to make a big impact this year. He goes in free and hits the quarterback pretty hard. And now we have an opportunity after that field goal. And now we're down three to go down for a game-winning drive to seal this game on the road. So here is DiRoberto this time from the shotgun, uh, facing a third and two. Quick throw. That's Maurice Jackson, a first down, beating man coverage. And now we got it to about the 49-yard line. So now three minutes left here in the game. This time Gonzalez up the middle and he's going to pick up a gain of seven. He has ran the ball really, really well in Adam Murphy's absence. So now we get into a third and four. This time a throw across the middle. Wide open is Maurice Jackson. Eight yards as we get it to two minutes left here in this game. So now on a first and ten this time. Wide open to the left side is Xavier Storm. He will catch that one 15 yards and a first down here for our leader on the offensive side of the ball. So first and 10, once again, another handoff. This time, Gonzalez, he's going to get four yards up the middle, and now he's got 75 yards rushing as we get it to a second and six. Now the clock winds down within a minute left. Here's Gonzalez, another hole up the middle. As we try to waste this clock, we don't want to give them any time either. So now it comes down inside of 30 seconds. This time, another handoff. Julian Gonzalez fights forward. For a gain of eight. That is great blocking by our fullback, Kevin Carlisle. And now we get it to a first and goal. This time, DiRoberto throws it across the middle, and Xavier Storm holds on to it in traffic. He gets lit up, though. And now we get it to the one yard line. Handoff. This time, Gonzalez gets pushed back and fights forward for a touchdown. Look at this effort by the red shirt freshman. Julian Gonzalez, take a look. He gets pushed back. Number 99 has the leverage, but Gonzalez does not give up. And we take the lead here with under 10 seconds left here in this game. So now we just need to come up with the stop. We run the prevent defense. Brooks scrambles out to the right side, and that's going to be a stop for six yards. And that is going to bring it to within two seconds left here in the game. We are in the prevent defense. Just a stop here, and we come away with the victory here on the road. Here's a deep shot. This time, Brooks has a man. It's Woods. Oh, he comes God. up with the catch. What? 66 yards, and that is the ball game. Wow. Woods has it. And look at that. Only one guy back in coverage. What is Cam Duvano doing on this one? He watches these guys run right past them and does not help in the prevent defense. And Zane Alexander has no shot. Three USC guys versus one of him. 
And that is how this one ends. You've got to be kidding me. Heartbreak on the road at the Coliseum. Wow, that is probably the worst loss in White Tails history. I got to admit it because if you think about it, we were on the road versus a top 10 school and we allow a win on a Hail Mary. Wow, that is just crazy. And now we are one and one. We were looking to go undefeated in non-conference play, maybe helping our rankings out. But this loss will bump us down after we did upset a top 25 team in week one. Now we're going to have to bounce back after a Hail Mary loss. But I guess the one good thing coming away from that game is that the defense was there. We created pressure on Brooks all game. David Wyatt seems like he's legit. Two sacks in this one, and he had three sacks or three tackles total. Victor Dimitri was all over the field. And next week, we're going to have to bounce back first one and two Vandy, who actually played three conference games already, and they are one and two. And we will return home for the conference home opener. But wow, we have to bounce back from that game. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think of that ending. Wow. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, hey, filling out these job applications. Life got hard after high school graduation. I went to college and your boy got financial aid. They gave me money, then I went and bought a pair of J's. And I bought a pair of shades. And I bought a new computer. Half a hundred dollars left. Spent the rest on...